my channel so today I'm doing a very 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 interesting look I'm using a lot of very <laughs> I really love the way that this look turned out I actually got inspiration from this makeup artist on Instagram right here and when I saw it I was like oh my gosh I have to do this on myself like I have to see if I can recreate it how it would look on me and I am completely obsessed so I'm not gonna ramble on too long because you guys know I can talk a lot if you want to know what exactly I did and used to create this look right here, then just keep watching. I have nail polish everywhere. Just everywhere. To prime my eyes, I'm going to start off by taking the Huda Beauty Brown Sugar Foundation and I'm just going to carve out my brows and apply this on my entire lid. So this time I am not setting my concealer, I'm going to move on straight to eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with my brow bone and for that I'm using the Ofra highlighter in Bali. For my first transition color, I am going to take this yellow color right here. This color is from the Morphe 35C palette. I'm also taking a little bit of the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette because that yellow is just a little darker than the yellow from the Morphe eyeshadow palette. So now in the same Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to take this orange color right here and I'm just going to pack that on just a little bit lower than the yellow shade that we just applied. And as you can see, I'm just pressing it into the skin first or into the eye basically. And then I'm going to start blending out the edges. Now again, in the same Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to take this pink color right here and apply this a little bit lower than the orange color that we just applied. And to further blend this out, I'm gonna go back into the orange and just blend out the edges so that we don't lose we don't lose any of the um, the orange color that we apply and it also blends in nicely with the yellow look at how pretty it looks so nice so i'm going to take this purple color right here from the exact same palette and i'm just going to deepen up the crease And if you feel like you lost some of that transition color, don't be afraid to go back into the previous colors to kind of create the same look again. So I'm going to take Delorious from the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette and I'm going to apply this on the inner and the outer corner of my eyes. I'm going back into the brush that I used for the purple shade and just kind of blend out the edges. Make sure nothing looks harsh. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my Huda Beauty foundation again and I'm going to apply this on the center of my eyes. So as you guys can see, what I do for this effect is to make sure that I bring out the concealer just, or the concealer, the foundation, just a little bit more so that you can really get that sharp line um, and the cut crease. So now I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to apply this into the... Actually, I don't even know what it's called, but you guys can see what I'm doing. And you can just go back and forth with the color brush or the brushes that you use on specific colors just to make sure that everything blends well together. 
So I'm going to take this singled eyeshadow called Mermaid from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to apply this on the bare area, area, the bare area on my eyelids. And with this as well, I'm going to go back and forth with the previous color that we used. So now I'm going to play with some glitter. Now, um, first off, I didn't even tell you guys about my nails. I just quickly painted them because they look really, really bad and now they look kind of worse. So uh, don't mind them. <laughs> I'm going to take the LA Splash Till Midnight Elixir. This is really great to hold pigments and glitters. So I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit and I'm doing this piece by piece. I'm not applying it all over the lid in one time. And the glitter that I'm actually using this is just some crafting glitter. I know that's not very safe, but I just didn't have a glitter that was, uh, you know, like clear like this. So I thought I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit, not too much. So if you do end up using glitter that's not like makeup glitter, you have to be really, really careful. I heard a lot of horror stories. So I'm using a tiny little brush. This way I can be very precise and I don't make any mistakes. So I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and apply this on my eyelids and then start applying glitter on top of it. So for my eyeliner, I am creating a very thin line and this is only so it can help me hide my lash band and it just makes it so much easier for myself so why not do it. I'm going to take the Eve Pearl Smudge Proof Liquid Eyeliner and this is one of my favorites. For mascara, I'm using the Ico Lash Alert Mascara in Wake Up and Go. For lashes today, I want to use the Lana number no. 10 lashes. I know that these are very dramatic and I'm not too sure how I'm going to feel about them on my eyes with like the eye look and maybe it's going to cover it up and stuff like that. So let's see. Oh, and these lashes are from Huda Beauty. So now I'm going to mix in two foundations. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Fidelist Healthy Elixir. Um, this is in number 756. Seven or oh, golden tan. What is that? Seven hundred fifty-seven here. <laughs> and golden tan. I'm just going to apply two pumps of this, and then I'm going to mix that in with the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in four hundred caramel, and just use one pump of this, or actually two. I think I need two of these. And when I like to mix foundations, I like to use this Eve Pearl um, mixing mixing. Like I'm mixing something. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, I think one should be enough. I'm just trying to create, you know, my perfect shade. You think this would be good? Yeah, you see that looks really nice. So as you guys can see, my foundation isn't very full coverage. They're both pretty lightweight, so that way I don't have like a lot of coverage. And because I didn't put a lot of pumps on my face, it's not very cakey, it's just very natural <laughs> so basically what i'm going to just do is apply a lot of highlight and a lot of concealer or i mean a lot of contour and that way we can still make it look flawless so to highlight i'm actually going to take the la girl cool tan pro concealer and on top of that i'm going to put a little bit of the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer in 11 honey For my contour today, because I want to be very like flawless looking, very over the top, I'm going to take my iconic London Pigment Stick in number 5 as a base, and then for a little bit more in depth, a little bit more cut, a little more, I'm going to take the iconic London, I mean shade number 5.2. <laughs> What I do is I blend out my contour first, 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 and then I blend out my highlight. But seeing that I applied way too much, I need to blend this out with my beauty blender so that I can get it to look very seamless because this is just crazy. Look at my face. Look at this. Mm -hmm. 
To set my under eyes today, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow. I'm not too sure if I like this. I can't remember using it. I'm sure I did because I opened it, but I don't know how I felt about it when I used it. So I'm just gonna use it today and see. Yeah, see if I like it. Maybe I don't, I will know. So I kind of feel like this powder makes me look a little ashy kind of, but I mean, we'll see. We'll just finish it up and see what happens. I don't really like the way my face looks right now, but we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> so now I'm going to work on my lower lash line and we are going to do the exact same steps that we use as transition colors, only we're going to reverse them. So we're going to start off with the dark purple and then the lighter purple and then a pink and then the orange and then the yellow. Can I tell you that I'm wanting you? I'm in love with the way you move and now that was terrible. And then for the inner corners, I'm going to take a little bit more of my Baldi highlighter from uh, Overall Cosmetics. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply that in the inner corners or the, yeah, the inner corner, right? Yeah, inner corner of my eyes. Why am I doubting? I don't know what's wrong with me. So I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer, not too much because the contour is already a little overboard. So I'm going to take my Chocolate Desire bronzer powder and I'm just going to apply a little bit. And for blush, I am taking my Simply Spoiled 1011 palette set and I'm taking this color right here and applying this on the apples of my cheeks. Now I applied way too much because I like you guys can see I look crazy now. So I just use my beauty blender whenever that happens and just kind of get it to look a little natural. See that? That's better. So now for highlight, I want a very bam over the top highlight today because my eyes are already bam and I just feel like that's necessary because why not? <laughs> I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Treely Treely. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Treaty Highlighter Palette in Bronze Sands, and I'm actually only going to use this cream color right here and just apply that on the highest points of my face. So I'm using this as just a base and I'm going to apply a powder highlight on it and you guessed it, I'm using the exact same highlight that I use on my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes, the Ofra Cosmetics Bali Highlighter. Look at how brown that looks like. Oh, so this highlighter right here is insane as you guys can see. Um, it looks very pop. So to make it look a little more like it's coming out of the skin, I like to take my beauty blender and kind of just press it in so it doesn't look like too much, you know? Now for my lips, you guys are going to hate me. I'm just going to do my same old, same old nude lip because I feel like the eyes and the face are ready enough. So I'm not going to go overboard and do something too crazy. I'm just going to go with my same old nude lip combination. And for that, I am using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Girlfriend and the ColourPop Cosmetics Hollywood Boulevard Lippy Sticks. So that was it for this makeup tutorial. This is the way they look turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really loved sitting here and taking my time and filming this for you guys and trying out something different. I've always wanted to do dramatic looks but I've never really had inspiration so I feel like you know seeing other people on Instagram and looking at makeup artists on Instagram really helps you and motivates you to do and use more color because I have a couple of colors that I can use that can create vibrant and bad looks. I just never use it. So I'm definitely going to challenge myself to use a lot more color. I'm really excited. I love the way that this look turned out. So 
you know, I'm using a lot more color in my next couple of tutorials. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this makeup look. Don't forget to click the bell down below to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Crashing, hit a wall